Hi everyone, I'm happy to be here. I'd like to start by expressing my appreciation to the committee for their efforts in organizing this international event or this international conference. Uh, as you see, uh, our presentation will be uh, focused on this specific topic, predictive power of eye, tackling child undernutrition in Morocco. So over the few next over the next few minutes, I will walk you throughout the introduction. Then we move to the theoretical framework regarding to our specific uh, topic. Uh, after that, we will get a look to our data set and then the methodology and finally conclusion and some recommendation for public uh, policy. As you know, the issue of undernutrition remains a critical global public health problem, especially affecting children for low and middle income countries. Indeed, this study addresses only under, addresses undernutrition in the case of Morocco. As you know, undernutrition covers a condition like stunting, wasting and underweight, all of which can severely impact children's health and development over time. In the case of Morocco, significant strides have been made in reducing undernutrition among children. Stunting, uh, in fact, stunting rates a primary measure of chronic undernutrition fell from 18% in 2003 to 15% uh, to 15 in 2018. However, this progress doesn't mean the challenge is over, highlighting the importance of ongoing efforts and novel strategy to address the issue. Uh, to address the this uh, issue, so. The, the major uh, the major objective of the study of the study sorry to is to to identify the key factors and to evaluate to evaluate the effectiveness of different machine lear learning uh, classifiers. In other words, this paper or this presentation aims to explore and evaluate and evaluate the efficacy the, the uh, efficacy of various machine learning alg algorithms. In, predictive, in predicting undernutrition among children under five years old in the case, in the case of uh, Morocco. By analyzing our data, uh, our data set, the study aims to, 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 to evaluate or to identify the, the, the variables that contribute to undernutrition and select the most accurate machine learning model for predicting, for predicting undernutrition. Uh, uh, in terms of data, data set, uh, the, uh, the nutrition data uh, from 2018 national population family health survey have been used uh, in the case of uh, in, in our uh, uh, study for the for the uh, for for the machine learning classifier we have used many algorithms we can, uh, namely uh, logistic regression, car nearest neighbor. Uh, random forest, the radian boston, and xg, XG uh, boost. As you see, we have used many, uh, many machine learning uh, uh, algorithms. Uh, in fact, in, in terms of methodology, uh, as you know, we start by or after pre-processing, we divide our data set into uh, into into uh, uh, into parts. The first one is is called uh, training test and the second one is testing test. Uh, we used, uh, uh, in fact, we used the smaller portion, 13% uh, of the data set to test the predictive models and evaluate their capacity to predict undernutrition. Meanwhile, meanwhile, sorry, uh, the larger portion, 17% served as training data set where we trained the model, selecting the best ones and gag their uh, performance. In fact, uh, for our uh, for uh, for the uh, tools, we have used both Stata and Python uh, programming language. Uh, uh, regarding our outcome variable, outcome variables, malnutrition will be assessed using three dependent vari variables: underweight, waste, wasting, and stunting. Those variables are uh, derived. Uh, are uh, derived uh, based on uh, World Health Organization standards. 
each variable is coded as one if the child has the characteristic and zero otherwise. So in total, uh, or to sum up, we have three, three, three variables. Uh, for the outputs, uh, to compare, in fact, to compare the models, uh, uh, or to compare the model across several key metrics, namely accuracy, specificity, sensitivity, uh, kappa, statistic, and uh, and uh, and uh, rock. Uh, each metric offers, uh, in fact, each metric offers uh, insight into the model's ability to correctly identify cases cases of stunting, wasting, and under underweight. As you see, in uh, as you see, uh, uh, the the, uh, the accuracy uh, or the sensitivity of, of logistic regression and uh, gradient boosting suggests a slight improvement in correcting and identifying true uh, positive cases for stunting. However, those mo those two models maintain a, a perfect specificity rate demonstrating their accuracy uh, in identifying children without stunting also we can say that uh, that uh, that the logistic regression particularly strong in uh, predictive underweight condition showing high predictive accuracy for the comparison while logistic regression uh, provides the clearly anter pre, uh, provided clear interpretability uh, uh, gradient boosting handles complex relationship effectively or uh, particularly in stunting prediction in fact uh, uh, turning our attention to wasting the 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 the, the we can see that the the rep curve indicate the gradient boosting and logistic regression are the most uh, proficient models in distinguishing between cases of wasting and a, uh, IUC value, values uh, of uh, 0 0.67. Those values suggest a good discriminativity ability higher than what was uh, previously, previously considered. Also, for the determinant of, of undernutrition, we can see that the primary determinant is maternal education and household uh, wealth, and also as the second as a secondary factors, regional disparities and healthcare access play critical roles. And finally, for high risk groups, identified in fact as uh, as children from rural areas and low and low uh, so, uh, social economic background. In, term, in terms of conclusion and uh, recommendation, we can see that uh, the pre, uh, we can say that the predictive accuracy of, mo uh, of models. Here we have uh, logistic regression and uh, gradient boosting models are the most effective effective models for predictive stunting and wasting. In fact, logistic regression is particularly effective for identifying underweight condition uh, conditions in uh, children. As a recommendation, there are in fact there are many recommendations that can, can be uh, can be uh, 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 there are many uh, recommendations. For example, uh, we have can we can we can recommend uh, we can recommend to use or to use I in public health uh, by encourage uh, by by encourage the integration of I machine of machine learning tools in public health strategies strategies to enhance the prediction of and pre prevention of undernutrition also for, uh, as a policy implication we, we can formulate this one uh, in fact to use uh, the findings in to inform and guide policy decision and health program planning to better target areas and population uh, most at risk and also to invest to investment in the data collection. Uh, that's all I want to say. It's wrap up my presentation for today. I appreciate your listening and watching and your attention. And uh, if you want to follow up with with us or with me, you can. You have got my email address. You can you, you can just uh, you can you can text to me and I come back to you as soon as I can. Thank you uh, for your attention.